So we are starting with consumer research. This is going to be a last topic. Research is always an important aspect. And in today's time, you know, we are dealing with the consumers. It has even become more relevant because the market is changing. With the new technology, things have changed around. How people were buying things earlier has changed now. Nobody could have imagined that things are being delivered at your place. But today, it is a reality. People are buying through Amazon, Flipkart, and they are the biggest retail players. How market has changed. Because the way consumer is procuring things has changed. So it becomes very important to keep a track on consumer research, to keep yourself updated with the market, and to change yourself in changing time. So what we will talk about is consumer research today. So what is research? What is research? Anybody wants to add? It comes with the two words, re and search. So again and again, I search. And every time that you search, you might find maybe the same responses or you might find new as well. What, somebody, let's say for example, I have done a research in US and what it is in India. It might be similar or it might be different as well. That the answers I'll only get after the research is done. Right? Uh, can you identify this? What is sample and population and how do they differ? Anybody who wants to approve this question? Sample is the part of the population. Population, True. population is other? Whole. Why we take up research on a sample basis? Because we can't measure population. Population, it's very difficult. But in today's time, there are some companies which are even doing with population as well. Because of technology. So how things are changing. Big data which you come across. So population, you have a huge data set which is with you available. So probably research can be more appropriate if you have an entire population. But in case we have lack of resources, a sample is always an ideal way to do a research as well. So sample is again a part of the population only. Are you able to identify these terms? Reliability and validity. Yes, sir. So what is reliability? Consistency. Consistency. So every time that you do a research, it should give you same answers or same responses. So for, uh, what is validity? Accuracy. 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 The source of the incident. So the best example for reliability and validity is, let's say you go for, a, you want to measure a weight. You go on a weigh machine. So if somebody's weight is 60 kg, it should always give 60 kg. If it is not giving 60 kg, the source is not reliable. Validity. It is giving the right weight, but are we asking for the weight? We might be looking for a height. It might be giving right weight every time. But if you are asking for the height, it is not a valid. So that is reliability and validity. And it is very important in terms of a research. Epistemology. Have you heard this term? Epistemology. It is philosophy of knowledge. Science of knowledge, as we rightly said. So it is basically through epistemology, we try to know about you know new things that are being developed. Right? So there are two kinds of research, inductive research and the other one is inductive research. And to ideally identify inductive and deductive research, you know the story? Yes, sir. Uh, Ganesha and Kartike who are brothers. Now there is a competition between them that who is better? So they found a way that you know, whoever travels the world first is better. So they buy them the competition. So the same way, you know, they compete, they are competing within themselves. So Kartike, what he did? He said, okay, I will travel the world. He had a pick-off. So Kartike set on a pick-off, travel the world, cover all the oceans, mountains, deserts, sea, everything. And he came back. He took some time. Right. Now when it came to Ganesha, what he did, he simply took a round around his parents. parents. So the approach of Kartike is a deductive approach. That is the word. And the approach of Ganesha is my word. To me, my parents are my word. So that is your inductive approach. That is deductive and inductive approach. Fine.